Now, what I want you to do is now think about how long and how much effort it takes for you to manage the client, right? To set up email reminders, right? Make sure that they, they've they got uh, the, the information that they need, right? Payment management, right? Trip management. And then when they're on trip, what if they've got changes? All of the time and effort it takes to manage the record, right? When you take your commission, is it really worth more than minimum wage? Are you getting more than minimum wage? Some of you will say, yes, absolutely. I'm getting more minimum wage, right? But many of you, right, haven't even done the numbers to determine what your average commission should be and what you should be getting such that you are excited about what you're doing in terms of the revenue that you receive in your business, right? So I want you to just think about that. Like, so if your average commission is $300, right? Some of you guys are doing cruises with Carnival and your average, you know, commission is three to $400, right? Because the Carnival is kind of on the low end, right? It's not an, a luxury uh, cruise line, right? You know, if you're booking resorts, you're getting 10%, then you're splitting that with your host agency. And when you add up all of the time that you're working, right? Are you making minimum wage or working there for free, right? Many of you are, right? You're working either for really low dollars or you're working for free in the case where you're booking, you're doing quotes and you're not receiving any revenue. Well, we want to stop that today, right? I want you to really stop and think about one, what activity are you working on? And is it directly tied to making money, right? Is it busy work? Is it work that you think is sexy because it makes you feel good, but it's not really making you any money, right? And even if you are working on the correct activities, are you charging your worth, right? So